nights and I make around like $500 per night up to $1,000. That's my goal. What is up my friends? Today I'd like to give you 10 amazing tips to make more money with Uber or Lyft. Stay tuned. I've been driving with Uber and Lyft for about six years now. I used to drive in New York full time and then I moved down to Pittsburgh and driving for Uber and Lyft part time for about four years now. So I'll give you all the experience and knowledge that I have and that I encountered with Uber and Lyft. So please stay tuned. If you like the video, please hit the like button. And if you like my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, you can hit the comment section and leave your um, question over there. And I'll try my best to answer to those questions. Tip number one, get used or new car which each has its own pros and cons. For example, um, a used car, depending on the mileage and condition, requires less or more maintenance. On the other hand, a new car doesn't require half the maintenance but costs more money. So I used to spend around four to $500 for maintenance each month for my Audi. That amount is equal to a monthly payment of a decent new Toyota Camry. So if you don't have any money for a down payment and if you have a just a used car for time being then I would des definitely go for a new car because it's a hassle free and then you can work whenever you want however you want because it it's under warranty and then you have an insurance which covers both ways and then, then the car is new, so you don't have to worry about the maintenance. Especially the worst part with a used car is that if you're a full-time over driver and your car is broken, you have no way to make money. So consider it and just before you get any car, just think about it, do your math, and then decide what's best for you. Tip number two get familiar with the city. I know it sounds like a plain idea, but believe me, there are some places so busy at night and totally dead during the day. Figure out the areas where restaurants, nightclubs, and bars and sport arenas are densely situated. And that's of course if you're driving during the night shift. But if you're dri uh, driving during the day, then you have to decide and find out the places where the most people of the uh, most people work such as business districts or big or small companies or government agencies Tip number three figure out the rush hours Usually there is too much traffic during the peak hours some bad weather conditions um, And of course car crashes um, I would not recommend uh, driving during these hours because it's very tiresome and very hard to get to the rider which gives you less money than during the normal hours especially if you have too many tunnels and bridges where there's a lot of traffic during the peak hours and keep in mind you do not get paid enough for the distance and minutes you spend to get to the rider you get paid a miserable amount so it's not worth it unless there are some crazy surges for example, if you have a ride in 15 or 20 minutes um, away and you're driving during this hour, you don't know how long it's going to take you to get there because GPS only shows the estimated arrival time and you're not sure about the traffic. So you spend your 20 or 30 minutes or unknown minutes to get to the rider. And then after the, after the ride, you get the real money which rider pays for it but the distance you spend and minutes you spend you get to the rider that's a measurable amount so it's up to you if you want to drive this during these hours tip number four choose day or night shift day and night shifts have their own pros and cons i personally prefer a nighttime shift because there is less traffic and 
faster rides. And if you need a time off, then there are a lot of parking spaces available. So figure out what is best for you and go for it because you can make an equal amount of money in both shifts. Tip number five, use familiar GPS. Uber navigation app gives you horrible directions in some areas and is very confusing. Waze is very convenient in and out of the cities, but if you're used to a different GPS, then use that but make sure you do not miss the trip request if you switch, switch to a different GPS. Tip number six, provide refreshments and keep the car clean. It is very important to keep the car clean and provide some refreshments like gums, water, etc. If you can, the, that superior service sometimes pays off by tips and at least by compliments. Tip number seven, stay on promo hours. I try to hit every promo hour that Uber or Lyft gives because that is the time when certain areas or hours are busier than the usual. There might be a surge during these hours, but trust me, it is better to get paid by Uber than by customers. For example, the short distance ride may net you $4, but if there is a promo for three consecutive rides for $18, then you're averaging a $10 per ride, which is a good deal. Tip number eight, check surge hours. I personally avoid the big events during surge hours unless the traffic is tolerable. It happened so many times that I spent one to two hours to get to the rider because the roads were closed and rides wouldn't, uh, riders would not come to close by. But if, you, if I drive there, I always call ahead and make sure the pickup location and whether they can come to a more convenient location so I can avoid the traffic and of course take it from cops. Useful tip. Always tell the rider your car color. I know it sounds like a plain idea, but trust me, like during the night hours, drunk people, they don't know anything about your car. So make sure you got the correct rider and put the cell phone flashlight on, wave, and call them up and tell them that your flash uh, your flashlights are on and waving at them and this is the time to make money so pick up customers as fast as you can and get more rides from the surge area tip number nine check airport trips some people like long distance rides because they spend more time with the same rider and they know the road in most of the cities the airport rides are the same long distance depending on the day whether whether in hour there may be a lot of traffic i personally do not like airport trips because usually i get rides around 4 a.m drop and drop off in 20 30 minutes but the drawback is that pittsburgh airport does not have any flights from 12 a.m to 6 a.m so either I have to stay there at least two or three hours until I get a ride or I can just simply go back to the city and make more money. Trip costs from the airport are somewhat more than the average ride, but even that cannot compensate for the time in the queue at the airport and distance you go to from the airport. So tip number 10, find out seasonal slow periods. Some periods of the time are super slow that is because people left the city for a vacation or summer or winter break and touristic cities may become super busy during those periods. In some exceptional cases, it may become super busy during those periods because of the insufficient drivers in non-tourist cities. That happened to me during COVID after Christmas. Usually it was a slow period, but yet that year was extraordinary. People shifted to house parties instead of bars, so I was driving in residential areas and pretty much all the neighborhoods were busy. So uh, just to wrap it up, I'd like to say that if you have a game plan, you should just stick to it. And if you want to change the game plan, try it out. Like try out like different areas, like different shifts, different like hours, promo hours peak hours, rush hours, and if you just wanna like know how, how is it like uh, to work for Uber or Lyft, just drive around the city 
and get familiar with the city and if you're not sure about the areas just go around check it out if you like it or not and then just uh, you're gonna see like how you're gonna feel in t 10 or 12 hours depending on how much you want to work and how much you want to make so I, I just stick to, to my game plan and I usually go out on Friday and Saturday nights and I make around like $500 per night up to thousand dollars that's my goal so if you have a goal like that you can set the goal or by dollar amount or you can just uh, set a goal like I'm just gonna hit 12 hours straight because Uber and Lyft only gives you 12 hours of driving time like a uh, driving limit time so you only have 12 hours so it's up to you how you're gonna like um, uh, plan it ahead um, <clears throat> and um, I I usually try to make it um, to make like 40 40 dollars like 50 dollars per an hour so I don't drive that much I'm just like um, familiar with the city and I know like my strategy and uh, how it works and um, uh, when it works so in the next video I'm gonna show you how much I make per an hour I'll give you more dive in tips please stay tuned and if you like the video please hit the like button and if I have any questions please leave in the comment section and I'll try to answer as soon as possible thank you